Hello everyone, welcome to 4B's English lesson video. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to be practicing a tongue twister. This tongue twister is one that was very popular in America, and my friends and I used to use it a lot when we were younger. So first, please listen to me saying this tongue twister. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ah, pretty tough, isn't it? First, let's look at the tongue twister a little closer. So, a woodchuck is an animal that lives in the forest. Chuck means to throw. It's a little casual expression. So, this tongue twister is asking, how much wood could an animal throw if the animal could throw wood? Can you understand it now? Now, I'm going to say this tongue twister a little slowly. Please repeat after me. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Your turn. So, how did it go? Could you do it? Well, let's try again a little faster this time. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Go. Okay, it's a little tougher, isn't it? Now, even faster. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, your turn. Okay, how did it go? Could you do it? Oh, well, I hope so. Let's do a final challenge. I'll say the tongue twister three times as fast as I can. Then it'll be your turn. Ready? Go. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ooh, pretty tough. All right, it's your turn. Ready, set, go. Okay, did you get it? It's pretty hard three times very fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tongue twister today. Remember, tongue twisters can be fun ways to practice pronunciation, so give them a try at home. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye!